Hi, my name is Matt and I'm an Applications Engineer with Intersil Corporation. In this video, I'd like to walk you through the steps using iSIM for the ISL 91108 High Efficiency Buck Boost Regulator. Let's jump in. From the Devices Product Information page, click the Simulate button. If you have not logged in and registered, please do so now. The first page you'll see is the Setup page. Here you will input your design parameters such as your input voltage, your output voltage, and your current. For this example, let's use a 3 volt input, a 2.5 volt output, and a 1.5 amp load current. Once you're finished, press the design button. The next page you'll see is the design page. Here you can see the schematic with all of the component values, some notes at the bottom, and then your analysis options. For the ISL 91108, you have the option to run AC analysis, transient analysis, and steady state analysis. The values of each component are shown in the blue text. If you would like to change any of these devices, click on them and a new box will pop up. You can change the currently selected part number by clicking on the magnifying glass. From this page, you can apply different filters such as manufacturer, tolerance, voltage rating, operating temperature, and some others. Once you have found a desired part number, click the arrow button to select it. Another option you have is to manually input a custom part. Once you are ready, click the OK button. First thing we'll do is run an AC analysis for stability. First, configure the analysis with the appropriate start and stop frequency. Once you are done, click Save. When you are ready, press the AC Analysis button. When the analysis is finished, press the OK button to open the Web Scope page. Two important factors in determining your stability of your system are your phase margin and your bandwidth. These are conveniently displayed at the bottom left half of the graph. As you can see, we have 51.8 degrees of phase margin in a crossover or bandwidth of 75 kilohertz. Once you are finished reviewing these results, close the web scope window. Next, let's run a transient analysis. First, configure your transient analysis. Here you can change the stop time of the transient analysis. Once you are done, click Save. Since the ISL 91108 is very popular in battery operations, I would like to show how it transitions from buck to boost. First, change your input voltage by clicking on it. Here I want to start my voltage at 3 volts and then finish at 2 volts. And I want this to occur over an exaggerated 1 millisecond period. Once finished, press OK. Next, I would like to change my load current. It is currently set up to have a load transient, so I want to change this to a steady state current. I will change the final current to 750 milliamps, then press OK. Once this is complete, click the transient analysis button. Once the simulation completes, press OK to open the web scope window. The waveform that appears is the V-out waveform. As you can see, the device holds regulation very well from its transition from buck to boost. To see any other waveforms within the system, press the tabs to the top left. Once you are finished looking through the waveforms, Close the web scope window. If you are finished with your analyses, you can move on to the Bill of Materials tab. This tab will give you a full parts list with actual part numbers and manufacturers. It will also give you pricing from DigiKey. To export this to an Excel, press the link at the top. If you would like to start your design over, click the last tab, Redesign. To finish this up, let's go back to the schematic page. From here, you have two options that you can take. The first one is to create a design summary. In the design summary, 
it will give you your design parameters, your schematic, any waveforms of analyses that you have ran, and a parts list. This parts list can be downloaded by clicking the download button into an Excel format. If you would like to download the entire design summary, click the PDF download button. The other option you can take is to click the download schematic and move to the offline ISMPE tool. For more information on ISMPE, the offline simulation tool that complements the online tool, please see application note AN1652 in videos available on the ISIM landing page. You can get more information on the ISL 91108 by going to our website. You can download a data sheet, order an eval board, and register for ISIM. Go to intersil.com forward slash buck dash boost. Thanks for watching.